In the last episode of Soap, Jessica and Elle, who have been living in the same house, are not married. And since Elle does not want to sin, they haven't exactly been living it up. Chester and Annie are also not married, but they are living together in the pool house, and you don't have to ask if they're living it up. Mary and Bert, who have been married for years, have not been living it up. And Mary has started to drink, which Bert will not let her live down. And Jody, who wants to marry Maggie but is not sure that he should, went to a psychiatrist to get help, which is how a psychiatrist makes a nice living. Confused? You won't be after this episode of Soap. This is the story of two sisters, Jessica Tate and Mary Campbell. These are the Tates. And these are the Campbells. And this is Soap. I think in America, this is called a home run. A grand slam for the great swine. Good morning. Buenos morning. My, it's going to be a beautiful day. Oh, Jessica, please forgive me. I was an animal last night. Yeah. Oh, I came to you out of weakness, and I took advantage of you. I, why did I do it? Why? 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 Because I asked you to. You did? Well, not exactly. I invited you up to my room, and you kind of took it from there. Oh. So how was I? What? Well, I don't mean to sound presumptual, but I have a personal question to ask you about myself. Forgive me. Well, of course, dear. What? Was I the greatest or what? The greatest? <laughs> See, the greatest what? Well, the greatest lover. Oh, that. I mean, was I better than anyone? Well, I don't know. I haven't tried everyone. <laughs> I don't mean the greatest in the whole world. Well, yes, I did mean that, actually. But, but just for a starters, was I amazing or am I just crazy? Well, you were... Uh... Different. different. But how different? Just different. Everyone is different. But was I the best different? Well, when you love someone, it's always the best. Ah, lo sabía! So I was the best? No. <laughs> Second best? No, not really. Uh, I washed out? Well. Oh, my God, I'm, I mean, not to be the greatest in the world. Well, okay, I can accept that. I mean, that's, new kid comes along, younger, stronger, better wind. <laughs> <laughs> to be a washout? Excuse me, please. I, I don't think I want to live any longer. Adios. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, come now, come, come on, sit, sit, sit. Let us have a little chat. See? Now, 
Uh, you remember last night when you were having so much fun? See? Si. Well, you were the only one. <laughs> See, I didn't have any fun. But women don't have fun. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Do you remember when your eyes crossed? Just before I started yelling, andale, andale. Yes. <laughs> well, El, I never got to yell, andale, andale. You mean women yell, andale, too? <laughs> I didn't know that. It's true. <laughs> Holy cow, the nuns never told us that. <laughs> well, it's something to keep in mind. <laughs> Jessica, do you remember when you was a little kid and used to go to the park with your friend? Hmm? And first your friend would push the swing for you, hmm? and then, then you would push the swing for your friend? Hmm? How about if now? I do the pushing, and you do the swinging. <laughs> Excuse me, but I have to see to my men. <coughs> I shall return in un momentito. Goodbye. <laughs> is with you two? Oh, goodness. It is so nice to have breakfast with all of you again. How is everyone? Well, Eunice is a little crabby these days. I am not crabby. I am never crabby. How dare you call me crabby? I'm the picture of non-crabbiness. Pass me that toast, damn it. She's just a little cranky because our sex life is in the toilet. Don't. Let's call a spade a spade. These fantasies are driving me crazy. Touch. For one thing, I can't breathe in the gorilla mask. <laughs> and furthermore, last night I sprained my ankle on the damn oil can. Oil can? It was nothing. We, we were was doing the Wizard of Oz, and I was the Tin Man. Uh, Billy, did you enjoy your little rescue mission? That was just the beginning, Ma. Yesterday, Malibu. Tomorrow, Malaguay. For freedom is my sword and shield. Oh, Saunders, are we out of Pop-Tarts? Hey, Saunders, you know what I can't figure? Something you can't figure? You're kidding. Yeah, how come a guy like you knows all about guerrilla warfare? It don't make sense. It don't make sense. <laughs> the prize! Oh, good. It's the pigeon sister. <laughs> Are you ready? Chester and I got married. <laughs> well, Annie, congratulations, dear. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hey, yeah, Dilly. Annie, all the best. Oh, Dutch. Mm. All the happiness. Dilly. Oh, my dear. Good luck. <laughs> Princess, aren't you going to wish us all the best? Pink! Un momento. <laughs> you tramp. You scum, you slime. Oh, God, I hate you. God, how I hate you. She's just a little cranky. Our sex life's in the toilet. <laughs> Risky career move, Colonel, marrying a local girl. Oh, what a set of cassavas. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Would you like some champagne? Oh, no, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, we're kind of celebrating. Oh? <laughs> yes, El. Chester and Annie uh, tied the knot. You mean like we tied the knot? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they got married. How nice. Congratulations, Annie. Thank you. <laughs> what did he mean by that? What? Like we tied the knot. What kind of knot did we tie? Well, Chester, I really don't think it's any of your business. You have a glow. <laughs> Billy. Right. <laughs> she has 
Of what? Both of you, you're both glowing. Chester. You slept with her, didn't you? Chester. You did, you did. I know you did. Don't say you didn't, because I know you did, didn't you? <laughs> I think he knows. A fine thing. Your husband leaves the house for one night to get married. <laughs> And as soon as his back is turned, you fool around with the first foreigner that happens by. Chester, you have just come into this house and announced that you were married. Am I glowing? Do I have a glow? Chester. It's one thing to do it out of spite or revenge. That's forgivable, but to glow. Oh, Jess, how could you? Chester, sweetheart, there's nothing wrong with what they did. Don't shut up, you little slut. <laughs> Don't you have any regard for the sacrament of divorce? Chester, you're horrible. You're a horrible, horrible man. Chester, will you please leave this house? I want you to know that never, ever, under any circumstances, would I ever set foot in this house again. Governor, 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 Bat. <laughs> I want you to meet the little lady. This is my wife, Pookie. Pookie, that's a nice name. It's short for Louisa. Sure. Can I wait in the limo, Jack? Oh, she just loves limos. She's been riding around in one for two terms, and it still tickles the beans out of her. <laughs> Everyone tries to look in and see who you are, and they can't because of the greened out windows. <laughs> oh, I just love that. Yeah, boy, that, that, that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, have, sit down here, take, oh, have a God. seat here. Come on. <clears throat> there, Mary, the governor's here. <clears throat> well, Bat, is the speech ready? Uh, oh, yes, it's just, I, you know, I'm a little nervous. I have a very uh, bad memory, and I'm afraid that I'm just going to forget it, you know. Well. You may want to write it in the palm of your hand. That's what I do. And then when I gesture, I look at it. Of course, once I sneezed and the ink ran and I couldn't make out a damn thing. But it was on fiscal policy and no one understands that, so I just made up some numbers. Are you all right? Oh, I, I, I'm very anxious to meet you, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> I slept. <laughs> yes, uh, man, this is our Governor Rodenbach, and this is his uh, lovely wife. Uh, it's Poopsie Rodenbach, Miss Mary. Uh, pookie, Pookie. Oh. Pookie, Pookie. <laughs> yes, uh, man, uh, excuse me, uh, man, can I, can I, uh, let's see you in the kitchen for a minute, please? I see that the reason was not I slipped, my shoes are new. Oh, you should do what I do. Have your secretary walk around in them first. Uh-huh. Man, come here. Uh, let's, uh, excuse me just a minute here. Yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna fix the bottoms of her shoes. You see, I like new shoes. Uh-huh, really? I like to skate around on the tile floors with them. How the hell could you do that to me? To you? 
I almost broke my neck. You know how important tonight is, and what do you do? You go out and get yourself stinking drunk. Bert, I haven't had a drink in days. These are new shoes. I slipped. Slipped, yeah, you slipped. You really do slip, Mira. I'm fed up with this. Bert, for God's sakes, I am not drunk. Smell my breath. <gasps> The knocker. <laughs> well, yes. I always use that before I go out. But under the binaka, under that, <gasps> nothing. Just breath, I swear. Mary, you are ruining me. Do you hear this? You are really ruining me now. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Bert, have I ever lied to you? What? Don't change the subject. I have never lied to you, never, and I am not lying to you now. I have not had a drink in three days. Do you believe me? No. Fine. Well, don't worry about it, Bert. Don't worry about me ruining you. Because I can't. You've already done that yourself. Hmm. You don't listen anymore. You never hear anymore. You don't care anymore. And I don't like you anymore. Mary, what are you... Mary! Mary, will you just listen? Listen up. Get back. Dutch, are you coming in or not? I can't. Why not? You'll hate the costume. I know you will. <laughs> well, I can't hate it if I can't see it. I'm starting to draw a crowd. I feel really stupid. <laughs> so come on in and stop feeling stupid, you moron. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, Roxanne, your name is like a golden bell hung in my heart. And when I think of you, I tremble and the bell swings and rings. Roxanne, Roxanne, Roxanne. Well, you gave it a shot. Good night. Don't you want to honk my nose? No, Dutch. You come flying in here dressed in a Cyrano de Bergerac costume and expect to turn me on? Well, this is all they had in my size, except for a horse, and that takes two people. Dutch, I'm really tired. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Good night. Eunice, I am not sleeping on the couch again tonight. Oh, Dutch, I don't know. I can't help it. It's just that I get nauseous whenever I think of having sex with you. <laughs> but I sincerely hope you don't take it personally, darling. Maybe we should see a shrink. Oh, so now we're sick, is that it? What do you mean, we? <laughs> so it's my fault? No, it's nobody's fault that we got a problem. We should work it out. Well, I agree. We do have a problem, both of us. For instance, my problem is that you make me violently ill. Your problem is that you repulse me. <laughs> what are we going to do, Eunice? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you just try that thing you did last Thursday? What thing? You know, when you came through the window with the stocking on your head. <laughs> now, for some reason, that was an incredible turn on. When was this? Last Thursday. <laughs> Why don't you just get the same outfit and try it again, OK? Only this time, do not really steal my jewelry. Eunice, that wasn't me. <laughs> what? That wasn't me. I never came through the window with the stocking over my head. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, well, oh, yes, of course, my mistake, yeah. OK, my mistake. Good night, darling. Good night. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. If that wasn't me with the stocking over my head, then who was it with the stocking over my head? Obviously, no one. What do you mean, no one? You were dreaming. Oh. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. If it wasn't you, you must have been dreaming, darling, okay? Good night. Good night, Eunice. Jody, when I 
touch your arm, I want you to try and tell me exactly where you are. All right. Where are you? You call this a piece of fish? This is garbage. Take this away from me. Jody. A buck and a half I do not pay for garbage. Who are you? What's the matter? Jody, try and tell me where you are. I'm in Conn's Delicatessen on 2nd Avenue and A Street, and I'm not enjoying myself either, in case you were interested. Jody, this is Dr. Rudolph. Woo! Ooh, a doctor, ooh, fancy schmancy. A doctor is talking to me? Impressed I'm not. Jody, try and tell me something. Tell you something? You tell me something, Mr. Hotshot Doctor. Like what? Like what? Like what killed that fish? I can't eat that. What am I, a seagull? Later. So you're on 2nd Avenue, eating in Cohen's Delicatessen. Is that right? No. I'm on 2nd Avenue, not eating in Cohen's Delicatessen. <laughs> a, that fish tastes like wool, and B, I don't got a fork. Look at this, half a cup of coffee they give you. What's your name? Julius Cassendorf, and I'm sitting here in this filthy restaurant probably being poisoned to death. <laughs> it was cleaner in my shtetl in Russia after the Cossacks rode through. Oy, the Cossacks with them were the horses, but a mess they made from my living room. Beta! Beta! There's a schmutz in my water glass here. How old are you, Julius? I'm 90 years young. I've been in this country 80 years. The second I got off the boat, I had heartburn! Beta! Are you comfortable now, Julius? I make a good living. Julius, let me ask you one more thing. No more asking. No more asking. I'm gonna take a little nap. You wake me up in time for the rifleman. Doctor, can you bring him out of this? Well, why would I want to? Do you know what this could mean? Books, papers, lectures, the Merv Griffin show? Oh, Doctor, we have to at least try to bring him back. Yes, yes. I know that. I am a doctor, for God's sakes. I did have to take that ridiculous oath. <laughs> Julius, I'm gonna clap my hands. Now, when I clap my hands, you will no longer be Julius Kazendorf on 2nd Avenue. You will be Jody Dallas back in my office. All right? Here we go. What will Bert do now that Mary has walked out, besides have more leg room in the limo? Will Chester come back to Annie? If he does, will she take him back? Why? Now that Jody has been hypnotized and can't be brought back, will he stay stuck forever? Will he marry Maggie, or will he look for a nice Jewish girl? These questions and many others will be answered in the next episode of Soap.